Cannot leave the tower right now. We need to deal with Ramsey first. Eliminate him. Mortimer Ramsey could be locked inside the safe room, which contains rations and water. New captain. Okay. So, I'm supposed to put him in here, apparently. Mission items, royal quarters key, and the uh, signet ring. So, yeah, I did see a key on that guy. Lots of lore. We do not have any maps currently. Okay. Just hop down here. Make it a little bit easier to uh, get to our target. Or not, you know. I got a little bit turned around. That's the throne room. Here's where I need to be. All right, Ramsey. We're gonna go toss you in a kitchen forevermore, where you can yell at people. safe room do you want me to put him? Just in there, in general? Like, oh, I see. We want to lock this. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsey. The Imperial Suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsey. Enjoy the rations and well water, sleeping next to a fortune. <laughs> I wonder if there's uh, enough rations in here for him to survive long enough for us to even come back. Technically, we're just committing murder through starvation if that uh, food supply runs out. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Yes, I would like to go to the Dunwall Streets. I'm really enjoying this so far. Really good. Long day in Dunwall. Looks like we are pretty much reading exactly the same thing. Finishing moves and attack. Can off balance or drown enemy. Deliver an eel. Okay. Downed enemy. Whatever. Combat and stealth. Sneaking and listening. Eavesdropping sometimes reveals useful info. Cool. Scarce resources. Cut off from our allies, we must explore and scavenge to replenish ammo, collect coins, and find elixirs. Auto crouch. Hide under low tables. Okay. Breaking enemy defenses. Enemy will sometimes stay on the defensive, making it a smart move to switch tactics. Magnification. Spyglass optics in our gear will allow us to zoom in on a target location. Hiding bodies, yeah, already know about that. Alarms, the Grand Guard will sound an alarm to call for reinforcements. I like that. Amplification, spy glass will amplify sound when we zoom on a target location. Crossbow bolts, sometimes a crossbow bolts can be recovered from corpses. Okay. Breaking barricades, break through wooden planks with our sword. Okay. Grand Guard. The Duke's soldiers have checkpoints throughout Karnaka and will attack strangers on sight. Weak doors. Can't find a key? Break down weak doors with wind blast, grenades, or a pistol. Ah. Play your way. There is no best way to play. Focus on combat or stealth. Play brutally or ghost-like. Thanks for letting me know. Falling damage. A successful drop assassination cushions us against falling damage and makes no sound. I want a, a drop knockout instead of a drop assassination. 
making noise. If enemies hear suspicious sounds, they will come to investigate. Stow weapons, that's fine. Saving, save your game often. So that means there's uh, no checkpoints, it's only saving? Hmm, well, maybe I should uh, quick save a little more often. Chapter summaries, get a summary of your current objectives and read more about your assassination targets in the journal. Left and right, bring up the quick access wheel to use elixirs and left hand gear like ranged weapons and supernatural powers. Okay. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. That's a weird reticle for the uh, pistol, I have to say. Very odd looking. Old history textbook. Chapter 12, The Whaling Trade. In 1631, Emperor Finlay Morgengard, or, yeah, I guess guard, uh, commissioned the first fleet of vessels made expressly for the hunting and processing of whales. They were powered by sails alone, and so were at the mercy of the winds. Although these whaling ships were small by current standards, Morgengard's fleet established the robust whaling trade we still enjoy today. Modern whaling vessels are much larger and use steam power to traverse the seas in search of whales. Did you know that every part of the beast is used? In addition to canned meat and whale oil, there is also a flourishing whalebone trade. Baleen is used in a roofing. Whale skins are processed into crude cloth. Bladders are made into wine flasks. Even the intestines are carefully harvested for their precious ambergris. And uh, used in many medicines and perfumes. Handwritten note at the end of the chapter. Emily, half of Morgengard's whalers fell to the rough coast east of Morley. You can still see the remains of ships poking out of the water should you ever visit Iran. Uh, also, there's no mention here that it was Sokolov himself who designed the first steam-powered whaling ships. He'll tell you all about it if you ask him. And he's sober. I used to listen while Emily and her governess Callista read from this book. I'm glad she wasn't here to see Emily driven out of Dunwall Tower. Justice Morgan and the Postulate Child. Worth money, apparently. Tower of Dunwall. Excerpt on a historical examination of Dunwall Tower. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Crystal and the seat of power across the, all of the Isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tyvia and Circanos joining the Empire first, it was Morley that uh, resisted the longest. Some of the conflicts that arise also ne necessitate the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position. With each ruler choosing his or her own royal protector after careful consideration. Or, you know, maybe sometimes you're a 12 year old and you just feel like choosing someone. Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Excerpt from A Book on the Late Empress. 
Perhaps, in retrospect, other historians will see how easy it was for us to fall into the traps set by the schemers who managed the assassination of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. By allowing them to write history, it was for years thought that her trusted protector Corvo Tano was also her murderer, a concept we now know to be utterly false. Yet, even after the tricksters themselves were put down, banished, or imprisoned, it remained common knowledge that the royal protector was also Jessamine's murder. uh, murderer. How nicely they arranged history for us, and how readily we devoured their stories, hungry for each perfectly cooked morsel. But it is well past time for us to set aside this plate of lies. The schemers were not to be trusted with the Empire or with Jessamine's life. And they are certainly not to be trusted with writing down of accurate histories. Any pretty goodies over here? A few. I hear something. Latch to open doors, huh? Ugh. Hmm. Is that something up there? I think that might just be a uh, strange shading. <gasps> or, you know, some kind of paper. Still worthless either way. Well, I guess that's it for in here. There might be some more, but uh, I'm not going to bother looking too much. Anyone outside? Does not look like it. I've got to get out of Dunwall. And hopefully find some uh, magical way to cure Emily as well. I like that we're on the uh, rooftops up here. Ah, the thieves' highway. I don't know that ship, but maybe the captain can help. That looks like there's someone dead down there on the dock. A couple people on the dock. I don't see anyone on that ship. Looks like there's another dead person down there. Quite a few of them. Okay. I suppose we shall see. Why there's a bunch of dead people down there. Also, why is there barbed wire on this uh, roof here? I guess it's uh, to make sure no one climbs into the uh, palace easily. No idea. What do I have to do to get Emily back? What do I have to become? Who knows, but we'll try to become it. Can I get up here? No. A little bit too high. I, oh, I can actually grab a uh, edge like that. That's pretty cool. That's not something you could do uh, before. A lot of people talking about taxes over here. Keep out. So I could go down this way, but then I wouldn't be able to get back. I don't know if I want to go that way. I could go down this way. Let's take the road less traveled, because I'm sure that there uh, are reasons for doing that. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. 
Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Corvo Atano has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find him. That's it, we've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Apparently the guards really like kisses. Yep, I can definitely see that there is some uh, frame droppage out here. It's not terrible though. The game still seems pretty smooth to me. So that's all electrified. Empress Emily Caldwin and her royal protector Corvo Atano are now wanted criminals. Let me remind you, there's a reward for your help in capturing enemies of the state. Stop. Sounds like someone uh, killed the radio man. So I can go up here. Is there anything else of interest over this way? No, this is all blocked off over here. Killed someone down there. Sacked place. I imagine there's not going to be too much uh, in the way of security in this place. But you never know if there might be uh, someone slumming it up in here. Could very well try to attack me. Knife of Dunwall. Excerpt from a penny novel, chapter 3. Dowd stared at the blade. The plan had gone perfectly, even better than he could have hoped. In fact, the whole thing had been too easy. But now that was over. He felt hollow, and there was nothing in the world that could fill him again. He knew it with a certainty that scared him. Billy called from the next room. Boss? Leave me. He nudged the door closed before she could say anything else. He trusted her more than any of them, but he didn't feel like talking. Cleaning the blood from the blade, he studied the marks it made on the cloth. Royal blood, but it looked the same as any he'd seen before. Weren't the high and mighty supposed to be filled with something different? Something better? Dowd was tired. No amount of blood could change the way he felt. He didn't drink as a general rule, and sex never had interested him. He felt a kind of exhaustion that couldn't be soothed away. A smile crept across his mouth, the knife of Dunwall, exhausted. And yet, something else. What was it he was feeling exactly? He'd looked into Jessamine Caldwin's eyes at the moment her life slipped away, and in that moment a thought occurred to him. He'd made a mistake. He'd been misled. That kind of thinking was useless. She was just as dead, whether he regretted it or not. But he'd seen his true face reflected in her eyes, seen himself for what he really was. Not a renowned assassin, not some great shaper of history, just another plain piece in an unknowable game. Now, if I hadn't come through here, I would have missed that book. I don't know if uh, there would have been any way to get to that, because this is all downhill here. <laughs> 